Hey guys, James here and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, this channel is all about sharing my lifelong love of cars with you guys. As many of you know, Mazda is moving upmarket with nicer and nicer vehicles and the CX-30 is no exception. But to reach that price point, Mazda had to be very selective about what features and what materials they would give the CX-30. And one of those things that Mazda chose to omit is something that most people don't care about, but DIYers like you and me would appreciate hood struts. So today, I'm going to show you guys how to install these puppies so that we can premiumify your underhood experience. Quick note, a lot of sellers of automotive products have contacted me to do reviews on their products, and this is the first one that I've said yes to because I think this is something that would actually interest you guys. So let's get to it. So first of all, the kit came with uh, these instructions, lots of pictures, not a lot of words. We have these struts themselves. And these little guys right here are brackets that attach to the top of your strut towers. Not these struts, but the, the struts for your suspension. And they attach to the bottom of your hood struts. Next, we have some hardware that helps attach the hood strut to the hood. You need a 12 millimeter socket to deal with this guy right here. And this little piece right here is really weird. It's like this bendy metal, and I'll show you guys later how that works. And here I have a breaker bar with a nine over 16 inch socket so that we can take off the nut at the top of the strut tower. You should also have a torque wrench so that you can put that nut back onto the strut tower with the proper amount of torque. I don't have one on me right now, but I'll borrow one after this and make sure that everything is nice and tight. And of course, gloves if you wanna keep your paws free of green and dust and this has nothing to do with the install my wife was just gardening one more thing is you'll want a trim removal tool step one is go into your garage or driveway and admire your CX 30 she's a beaut step two is open your hood and use the prop to hold the hood up for the last time dun 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 Next, use your trim piece removal tool to pop out that little circle that's holding up that hood insulator piece. Oops, and I dropped it. Now notice how these three pieces fit together. You'll want that nut at the end of the bending metal piece to be in the correct orientation, so study this very carefully. Next, use that bendy piece of metal to get that nut into the proper position. You'll want to line up the holes so that you can put the bolt through and it will grab onto the nut on the other side and tighten it by hand. Yank that bendy piece of metal and it'll come right off. Use the 12 millimeter crescent wrench to tighten that bolt and make sure it's tight enough that it won't loosen up over time, but not so tight that anything gets damaged. Now use the socket with your breaker bar to loosen up the nut at the top of the strut tower. It should be the nut that's most rearward. Once you loosen it up a little bit, you should be able to easily take it off by hand. It should just come right off. Now we're going to install this bracket, and notice the curvature on the bracket and how it kind of lines up with that curvature on the circle at the top of the strut tower. Since the two brackets are mirror images of each other, you'll want to make sure you're using the right one. Replace the nut over the bracket and tighten it to 40 pound-feet. And now onto the fun part, we're going to install the hood strut itself. But before you do so, practice taking off and putting on that little retaining pin because when the hood strut is on the vehicle, it's actually much harder to put that retaining pin back on, so you'll want to practice it beforehand. When you're ready, take the pin off and click that ball joint into place. It should go on really easily. Then put the pin back on and secure it in place. It should look like this when you're done. This is the right side of the car. Repeat these steps for the other side of the car, and once you're done, put down that hood prop and attach the hood struts to those little mounts that you installed on the hood itself. This time there's no pin, you just click those ball joints into place. This is what it should look like. In theory, everything's done now, so what I did next was gingerly press on the hood to make sure everything's moving properly. I noticed that this area flexes a little bit because it was never meant to support the weight of the hood, but it looks like everything will be alright. I don't think anything will actually be damaged. And that's pretty much it. It was a super easy install, no drilling required, very simple tools. I did it in like 20 minutes while filming, so I think you guys could do it in like 10 minutes. So far these struts are working perfectly, but you know, they are aftermarket products, and so I'll let you guys know if anything changes, if they start leaking and they don't you know, hold up the hood like they used to. Um, I will keep you guys posted if any of that changes. And if you liked this video or found it helpful, if you could hit that like button, that really helps out this little growing channel that I've got here. Also, if you're not subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the videos I have coming out. Again, my name is James, thank you so much for sticking around, and I will see you in the next video.